So aren't you tired to go back and forth with so many messages or emails to just decide on one single appointment and repeating this action with as many students as you have? Sometimes this can be really tiring and most of all very very time consuming. So the good news for you is that you don't need to stress for this anymore. Today I'm going to show you five ways that you can book your services online, being lessons or meetings, in a very easy way to make your life simpler. So this video is not only going to be useful for musicians like me to schedule their students, but to any other professional who needs to book their meetings online. If you know anybody who's struggling with this topic, please share this video with them so that they can also get the benefit of knowing these very small but useful tips. If you subscribe to my channel, that will help me a lot to continue making content that can be useful to all musicians for all these things that are not about music, but that can be very useful for us to know. Hi, my name is Marcel Fon. I'm a classical guitar player and I have made my own website with my own online academy as well as Carlo Marchione's site. I will show you how you can now, in less than 10 minutes, can set up a system that takes away all this work from you and you get the students or your meetings booked in a much faster and simpler way. So let's dive in. The first option that I'm going to be showing you is conceptually the easiest and most straightforward. Why? Because probably most of you already use one of these services. So I'm referring to the Google Drive, to the Dropbox, Mega or any kind of cloud storage. And for all those who are not very into technology or researching or inscribing in some websites, that can be a very nice middle way that you can still improve your system without making it too overwhelming for you. So all you need to do is take a template of a calendar which you can find in Microsoft Word, um, in Pages, in Google Drive spreadsheets, or you can just simply look up in Google a template that displays the yearly calendar in weeks. And all you need to do is import it in your cloud storage, like the Google Drive or the Dropbox, and then block out all these hours that you're not going to be teaching. And make sure that you use a color that somehow it's visible, that it's clear that the only free spots are the ones that are not colored in. If the template doesn't include the hours, make sure that you add them yourself. Then you upload this file on your Dropbox or in your cloud storage, and you share it with all your students. In this way, you're already avoiding all this back and forth of chats and emails to schedule appointments. And if you have to schedule every week about 15 or 20 students, that can save you a lot of time and a lot of stress because people can make their reservations without having to go through you every single time. Not to say that if there has to be made any change, it's a lot easier because everybody sees which time has everybody else. So if it's a closed class, that can be very, very handy. The second option, and probably the one that I would recommend the most, is Calendly. Why? Because it's very flexible as a tool and is yet very simple. So it has almost, I would say, a zero learning curve to get to use it. So all you need to do is to create an account. And in the free version, you can create one type of service. So if everything you're offering is piano lessons or guitar lessons, that is fine by you. So you can create a service and you follow the steps and fill in all the information that it will ask you. So how Calendly works, you will first of all put which days of the week from which hour to which hour you're going to be working. So it will decide on the duration of the lesson, the buffer between lessons, the days that you're going to be working, the availability that you want to give for people to book, etc. And then you can synchronize it with your own email calendar. So from all these hours available that you gave Calendly that you might be working, if you already have appointments in your calendar, this will appear as not available. Once this is done, you will get a link for this service that you created and you can share the schedule by sharing the link. Just the same idea like the option before. So I've been using Calendly for Carlo Marchione's Online Academy for many years now. We recently moved away from it just because I developed a better system for students to book directly everything within his site with their own profile on Carlo Marchione's website. But if you don't have such features in your website, having Calendly also offers you the possibility to embed this scheduler on the website itself. It's super easy because that's everything you need to do. There is no more setup and it works really, really nice. And at least this way you can have a page very easy to create that people can book you. 
the only thing you need to keep in mind is that Calendly only allows you to have one service. So if you want to have an offer of some students get one hour lessons, some younger students get half an hour or 45 minutes, or you maybe just want to give a selfish lesson or any other type of service, you will not be able to do that with Calendly for free. Just to be clear, this type of booking is not exclusive to events that happen online. You can book any type of event, you can also use it to organize your weekly lessons, your weekly meetings that happen in real life. But maybe right now, just stay home for a little longer. Next option, we have Appointee. So if Calendly is very powerful to book one type of service for free and embed it everywhere, Appointee, it gives the extra thing that you can actually have for free five different types of services and you can even accept payments. Unlike Calendly, Appointee has a limit of 100 appointments per month in their free version. So that can be a problem for some type of work. But if you will stay within the range of 100 appointments per month, then Appointee can be a very good option because it also offers a mobile app and better usability always helps. You can check in their website how to set up payments, but it should be quite straightforward. Also, some limitations that Calendly has, like the automatic reminders, with Appointee, it's everything included in the free version, which that's really nice. And obviously, it also embeds directly to your website. If you need something more like group features, then Doodle could be the right for you. In this application, you can plan out events by choosing several dates and times, and then people will be able to vote on the several options, so that then easily you can see which option is the most available for everyone. You can obviously invite people to vote on your Doodle schedule, even if they don't have an account, so only the person who creates the event needs to have the account. In an educative atmosphere, I would find this very useful if, for instance, you're planning a conference or a class concert or any event of this kind that involves the whole class. A very good option with Doodle is that you can integrate it with a calendar. So for instance, using it for a group of friends, that's really, really useful because all the friends are already in the group of Doodle. So anytime that you're planning a quick meeting, a beer or anything, you can just write it in the calendar and it will appear on everybody's calendar and then they can click if they are going to be attending or not. So it's a very cool way to decide things quickly and not having to waste your time deciding back and forth when and what is going to happen. Which, let's face it, these WhatsApp chats that have 300 messages and they are all about arranging something, nobody wants to read them. And lastly, we have Acuity Scheduling. I kept it for the last because, in my opinion, it's the most complete scheduling that you can get at the moment. So Acuity offers all the one-to-one -one features that Calendly and Appointee offer, as well as the group options that Doodle offers. On top of that, it also allows you to get payments when you get the bookings. And that can be a very powerful tool if you don't have a website yet, or your website provider offers you an e-commerce solution that it's a lot more costly than what Acuity Scheduling is. It's very nice that actually Acuity Scheduling offers you the possibility to customize everything so that if you already have in a way a look for your brand, for your name or for your artistic profile, you can match it accordingly. On top of that, Acuity also embeds into your calendar and makes the workflow quite a bit faster just because for scheduling events, you don't need to leave your calendar. I have been checking Acuity Scheduling for a bit and I think that the payment options that they offer, they are quite amazing. So you can sell packages, you can sell memberships and you can sell classes. You can also accept payments on Calendly and Doodle, but not in the free version. You need to upgrade to the premium version. So if the options of a pointy that offers payment system are too limited for you and you are up for an upgrade, I would then go with closed eyes, probably with Acuity Scheduling because it offers, at this point, a lot more options. If you found this video useful, please share it also with other musicians or other people who you think they might benefit from knowing this, because that will help a lot my channel and I hope that it will also help many other people. So that's it for today. I hope that you found this information useful and I really hope that you will find an app that will smoothen your workflow and make all this thing a bit faster and easier for you 
And please, if you have any question or any doubt, feel free to reach out to me. I will be very happy to help you. And I'll see you in the next one.